Reactor 4 is down. We can't charge the primer cannon, sir. The engineer's voice crackled with the comm system, sounding slightly disappointed in his beloved ship's performance. Between the jump gate and the UTNN Sorsar was a Helicant Dreadnought, blocking the human ship and her alien passenger from escaping the system. This was wholly unacceptable. The humans had just secured a fresh military alliance and needed to return their new ambassador friend to their home planet to finalise the new agreement. This arrangement angered the Helican Imperiate, so they decided to intervene with a little explosive diplomacy to sour relations. Had the Helicans been smarter, they would have read the terms and come to the understanding it was not humans receiving military aid, but providing it. They would, soon, however, find out. Power down the shields. Shunt power through port 16 into the weapon system to pick up the slack. We're going to have to punch through that dread to get to the gate, the captain ordered. No inflection present in his voice. We're going to go against a dreadnought with our shields? Are we going to die face first into a supernova naked once we're done? The terrified ambassador yelped. He was a diplomat. He wasn't trained to die. And he certainly would rather not do it in this far-flung bit of foreign space. Some of the more curious crew turned to look at the outburst, but most were fully focused on their station, seemingly unperturbed by the captain's insane order. As the seconds and parsecs dragged on, the fiery and inevitable death the ambassador was fully expecting never materialised. In fact, were there not a live feed of a massive ship actively hurling its entire arsenal at the humans, the ride would feel like any other uneventful jaunt between stars. The captain chuckled as he responded to the unasked question that was plastered all over the ambassador's face. This old can has more than a few tricks up her sleeve. The ship's XO cut in. It has a very special blend of ablative armour and... He said enthusiastically, wiggling his fingers. Space magic. The ambassador's face turned to one of condescending scepticism. Space magic. The question dripped with sarcasm. You'd have to ask one of the egghead labbies something about compounds, neopolymers, electrolysis, that kind of crap. Ship flies so far above my head, I just call it space magic. Barnes? I will not have you patronise the fine people in our R&D division, or their work. The captain snapped at the XO. Eh, aircare's gonna aircare. My damn ass is gonna eat crayons. Gotta lean into your role, chief, Barnes responded. The captain sighed with resignation. It was a universal enigma, or perhaps he had fallen foul of a fey prince or trickster god. But Barnes was somehow, simultaneously... One of the most competent officers and stupidest humans alive. Need a crew member to repolarize a warp field without collapsing the Sarang gravitational bubble mid-jump? That will be Barnes. Have a crew member break nearly all of their bones diving into a cargo hold full of Hyperion crystals to see if they could Scrooge McDuck it? That would also be Barnes. A loud hollow thunk sound brought the captain out of his almost wistful reminiscing. Well, we really pissed in their Cheerios. They're tossing Devis at us. Devis? The ambassador inquired, looking to the captain for further clarification. H-I-K-D-214 rounds. We call them Devastators, but seeing as that word is too big for my XO to pronounce, he refers to them as Devis, the captain explained, relishing the small jab at his first officer. They're launching city killers at us? The ambassador recoiled. And this ship remains in one piece? Barnes chimed in again. It has to do with over-engineering and space magic. Yes. The ambassador cut him off. Primer's charged and ready to fire? The disembodied voice of the engineer proclaimed, interrupting any further asinine interjection from either party. Barnes gave the gunnery officer a quick nod, before turning to the ambassador with a smile. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the fuck around portion of this evening's programming.